This is the GED review video for expressions and polynomials. Okay, now we're going to add and multiply rational expressions. Okay, so here we have 3x plus 7 over x plus 5 plus 2x over x minus 3. It's just like if we were adding fractions with just numbers. We need to find a common denominator. And in this case, our common denominator is going to be x plus 5 times x minus 3. All you need to do is multiply your two denominators together. However, whatever we do to the denominator, we need to do the numerator. So that means, in this case, for our first term, okay, if we had x plus 5, we need to multiply it by x minus 3, which means we multiply our numerator by x minus 3 also. So we FOIL, we get 3x squared minus 9x plus 7x minus 21. Okay, and that would be 3x squared. These two together give you minus 2x and minus 21. So that's our first fraction. Our second fraction, we would need to multiply it by x plus 5, which means we need to multiply the numerator by x plus 5. We get 2x squared, and 2x times 5 is 10x. So our second fraction gives us 2x squared plus 10x over x plus 5 times x minus 3. So we're going to keep going and we're going to combine our like terms together. So 3x squared plus 2x squared is 5x squared. Negative 2x plus 10x is 8x and then minus 21. And then we have x times x, we're just going to now FOIL this out so we know what it is. x times x is x squared. We'd have a negative 3x and a positive 5x, so that's a positive 2x. And then a 5 times 3 is a negative 15. And that is our answer. Okay, for multiplying, we can first factor our polynomials and see if we can divide out any common factors. Okay, so we're going to have 4x, nothing to factor here, it's just 2x plus 3. However, on the top over here, we can divide out a 2, and that would be 2x plus 3 over x. So our 2x plus 3's will cancel. Our x's will actually also cancel. And all we're left with is 4 times 2, which is 8. 